kindergarten. It's Miss Bradburn. We're reading a story today called Don't You Feel Well, Sam? And Sam is the little bear underneath the blanket. It's by Amy Hest and illustrated by Anita German. It was a cold, cold night on Plum Street. In the little white house, Mrs. Bear was putting Sam to bed. She closed their favorite book and they both blew out the candle. Kiss goodnight, Sam, Mrs. Bear said, and she wrapped him all cozy in the blanket that was red. She's taking good care of Sam, isn't she? But she suddenly heard a cough. <clears throat> and there sat Sam, curled up and small, and coughing in his bed. Mrs. Bear put her arms around Sam. Don't you feel well, Sam? Sam shook his head. <coughs> Poor Sam. Mrs. Bear hugged him harder and kissed his warm cheek. You have a cough, she said. And she dashed down the stairs and up again with syrup. Open wide, Sam, Mrs. Bear said. Sam shook his head. Tastes bad, he said. Yes, said his mama, you need to be brave. Sam put the blanket on his head. I don't have a cough. <coughs> Why do you think Sam is saying he doesn't have a cough? I bet he doesn't want to take the cough syrup. Try again, Sam, said his mama. Sam shook the blanket off his head. He opened up, then closed his mouth tight. The spoon was too big. Too big, said Sam. <coughs> I wonder if the spoon was really too big or if he just doesn't want to take his medicine. You can do it, Mrs. Bear said. I know you can, Sam. Sam opened up, then closed his mouth tight. Too much syrup on a too big spoon. Too much, said Sam. <coughs> Mrs. Bear rubbed frost off the window and peeked outside. Soon it will snow, she said. Open wide, Sam, and afterward we'll go downstairs and wait for snow. Snow. Sam opened wide, then very wide. He sputtered and snorted and made a big face, and the syrup went down. Brave Sam, he said. Sam must really like snow. Mrs. Bear and Sam held hands on the stairs. Sam wore his robe that was blue, and his slippers were too. They lit a little fire in the kitchen, then made a pot of tea. Mrs. Bear put extra honey in the tea, and it was nice sliding down. After tea, they sat in the big purple chair near the window and waited for snow. Mrs. Bear told a story about a bear called Sam. Sam liked the story, so she told it again. <coughs> went the cough every now and then. Sam, 
Sam leaned back on his mama's soft belly and it wriggled while she talked. The little fire glowed and the kitchen was warm. All through the night, Mrs. Bear and Sam sat in the big purple chair and waited. And finally, it snowed. I think the cough syrup must have helped. This must have been the next day when they went out and played in the snow. I hope you enjoyed our story. See you tomorrow.